Guess who's back? Hey, you guys, and welcome to a TV show haul. So just like my DVD haul, I'm giving some people some TV shows for, you know, Christmas. And I'm also going to show you some that I got in that I got from Black Friday that I haven't shown you guys yet. I actually haven't, even this isn't the end of it, really, because some of my friends borrowed them, so I can't show it to you guys yet. But whenever I buy some more TV shows, then this will definitely be it. But I'm not sure if I had showed you guys or not, so if you did, just let me know. But I bought the first season for um, Raising the Bar. So season 1 and Season 2 for my aunt. And um, this stars uh, Mark Paul Gossler and a whole bunch of other people. And I am really, really sorry for the train because the world hates me. But let's see, uh, Mark Paul Gossler, he is the main character in this one, and he is right there. You guys might remember him as Zach Morris in Saved by the Bell, and he really needs to cut his hair because I have seen this show before, and let me just say, it's a, it's a good show. I don't mind it, but at the same time, the whole season, all I could think was, you really need to cut your hair. You do not look great with long hair and like anybody I talked to were just like yeah he really needs to do that like that was the biggest complaint I think but I believe this either played on ABC or I mean USA or you or the other one TNT for like a while for only two, 10 seasons and I don't think it got great ratings but I'll read you what it's about Jerry Kellermar is an idealistic public defender who will stop at nothing to help those who can't help themselves when he chases Clashes with District Attorney Melissa Earnhardt, sparks fly, but they are both kept in check by Judge Trudy Kessler, an imperial force with an eye on the political run. So this also stars Gloria Reinburn and Jane Kizimek. I said that right no matter what. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good, and it lasted two seasons, so, and my aunt really likes it, so I got it for hers. And then the next... Uh, I don't know why I'm talking like this, but let's go with it. <laughs> the next thing I got is Family Guy Volume 3, sort of like Season 3, probably. And I got this for one of my other friends, who I believe I gave Volume 1 and 2, be two before. But this one was like in a different box. Usually when I buy him, he has like the thinner ones, and I think those are the newer ones. And this time I had bought it used. So... It was like, came in this big box, so it's not going to match, but yeah, hopefully, but he, you know, watching Family Guys, watching Family Guy, and then I got from my other aunt, uh, on during Black Friday, The Good Wife, yes, and I hope you guys know what Family Guy is about, and, and this stars Julian McMarigold, and that guy, what is his name? I know we know him, but he played big on Sex and the City, and he was in, like, Law and Order. He's, like, really awesome. But I haven't seen this show yet, but I know my aunt, I think she said she had wanted to see it, and I saw it for, like, 10 bucks. And I think it already went back up to, like, 30-something, so I'm really glad I got it then. But let's see. Um... Alyssa Flockhart, the re re resilient wife of disgraced state attorney. After her high-profile husband political and sex scandal, Alice takes the reins of her family and her life. While raising two teens, she pursues her original career as a defense attorney, a path she gave up when she became a politician's wife. Joining her former law school classmates firm, Thoric's litigation skills are put to the test as she re-enters the courtroom after 13 years and faces cutthroat 20-something rivals. Alice is determined to build a new beginning for herself and her children, one case at a time. And I heard really good things about this, so hopefully she likes it because I haven't seen any of it. But I heard really good things. And then the next two are for myself and the other one. I And I both got these during Black Friday. Um, the first one is Magic City the complete first season and this one stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan who I love and Olga Koloski, Steven Strass, Jessica Mars, Kristen Cook and this plays like on like stars I believe and I haven't seen any yet but I'm gonna read the back so you guys can know what it's about. 
Miami Beach, 1959. As like Evans rings in the new year of his luxurious Miami player hotel, Ca Castro's rebel sees Havana. Miami's in turbulent, but the Kennedys, the mob, and the CIA all hold court there. Owners like Evans is the star of the hotel, but at what price? Ben the Butcher Diamond finance like Ike's dream, and now his life is a facade, just like the Miami Air player. While dry, diving clowns day by day and scorch at night, nothing is what it seems at Magic City. Excuse me. I think I burped earlier. But yeah, so it seems really interesting. And, you know, I found it for $10. So I was just like, because there's only eight episodes. So I thought, uh, it's a good test to see whether I like it, the show, or not. Because, um, you know... Usually it's like thirty something dollars, and for six episodes, I'm like, I better go see if I actually like that first. And this is how it, the inside looks. It looks really cool. It looks like it's gonna be like really flashy and stuff. I'm not sure how well it did though in um the run. I'm not sure if it got a second season or not. But as long as I find the first season well, I will have loved and then possibly have lost. Cause you know usually they cancel all your favorite shows. And only live one or two. I'm just saying, they do that quite a bit. <laughs> okay, now the third movie I, TV show I got, I was really super excited to find it for. And I also got it for $10. This one on Amazon, and, and it didn't come in until way later, which is why I didn't get a chance to, because I was waiting for it. And by then, my friends had borrowed stuff, and I was just like, oh, you're just being difficult. But anyway, it has lied to me the complete third season. Yes, I love lying to me, and I was so. So, 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 so crushed when they canceled it. Like, seriously, people? And I'm so glad to find it for th 10 bucks because usually it's like 30, 40 bucks and they never went down, even though it's been um, canceled for a couple of like a year or two. But because then they usually, they, they usually go down like at least a 20 for a while and then fluctuate, but it didn't this time. But Lie to Me is about this guy, and he's played by him, obviously, and I've Tim Roth. And it also stars Kelly Williams and Brenda Hines and Monica Raymond. Anyway, Tim Roth plays Dr. Cal Lightman, and he's the expert online. Like, he can look at your facial movements and your arms and stuff, and he can basically tell when someone is lying to him but he doesn't always know specifically about what and he but he's like the best in the game and he takes on cases for people and stuff so it was really good and I'm really happy to watch the third season and I hope it ends on a sort of close note you know like like I'll be satisfied with with it because you know sometimes you watch something that's like not a satisfactory ending at all but I hope so Anyway, I'm done. I'm going to stop babbling. And, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you guys tell me, are you guys looking forward to anything specific for Christmas? Like something like a TV show that you really, really want? Or maybe an electronic that you really, really want? Like something that's not movies, movies or books or anything? I would love, love to know that. And tell me if you have seen any of these shows or... Uh, you plan on taking an interest in them now. I can't believe you haven't seen Family Guy yet, right? Like, <laughs> everyone has seen Family Guy, right? I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like, I own the first six seasons. It's an awesome show. I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna go. So you guys tell me whether you've seen any of them or now you're going to go to Netflix and look at them because I believe Lie to Me is on Netflix and I highly, 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 highly recommend the show so i will see you guys later let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below and i wish you a merry christmas i wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year even though this will probably be up after christmas so happy belated christmas also